Okay, I just want to take a quick second to talk about when we use the LOP import to bring things into SOPs. So by default, <clears throat> when we lay down a LOP import node, you see that import frame is set to a, uh, a changing value. For things like trees and rocks and things that aren't animating, this should be a constant. It should not be changing. This will greatly improve uh, our speed of being able to uh, manipulate and work with these things inside of our file. Won't make much difference once it's baked out, but uh, it'll be uh, it'll be extremely helpful. So one of the things we can do is we can either just hard code this, or we can change this to a um, instead of uh, dollar sign ff, which is the frame number, we can change it to f start, which will grab from the start of your timeline. Uh, you could also just you know, control left click, sorry, control middle click. Nope, that wasn't it. That's referred to default. It's shift control. There you go. Shift control left click, and that will delete the the, uh, the channel and just hard code it to, to what it was. I'm going to leave it like this for now. The other thing that we want to do is if we are using something that is animated, right? So whether it's our characters, it's our grooms, it's our cloth, when it comes in, when we need to bring these things into SOPs to make these things usable, um, we want to pair this with freezing it to the first frame that, that's important to us. And then what we want to do is each one of these um, USD files is going to have an intrinsic, a USD primitive intrinsic called USD frame. And so we can use this set prim intrinsic and then paren and then zero means itself, like the first incoming right? And then USD frame is the attribute we're setting. And then on the prim number that we're, we're going to be manipulating. And then at frame is the current frame number. And what this does is it will allow us to pull in the correct data. Uh, I, I don't know with the, the LOP import why this is the better method, although I know this comes from Chris at side effects. So, um, if you need to bring in non-animated geo, just pick a frame, right? Don't have this changing constantly. <clears throat> and then if you are bringing an animated geo into SOPs, right? We want to set this to the first frame of our timeline. And then we want to use this set prim intrinsic and then zero USD frame, prim num at frame. And that should help us uh, have a lot more success with uh, optimizing and speeding up some of our lots to SOPs workflow.